taking this uh, statue out of the back of the wagon. And she hands everyone, and well, she has one of the acolytes go, uh, go into the Shrine of Axis, comes back out, and she hands everyone a uh, small black velvet bag, and each one has jingle of, of coins. And so everybody gets 50 gold apiece. I'll add that to your sheet, so you don't need to worry about it. Uh, Thank you. Yep. And, and then she says, uh, let us get you baths drawn. Uh, please, would you also like to stay for a meal? We can also offer you a safe place to stay for the night uh, because lodgings can actually be difficult uh, to find in town because we, we, there's such a, a large population here now. So, uh, you know, you guys start to look around and there's all kinds of bystanders and stuff starting to, you know, gather and congregate watching the statue being pulled off of the, the wagon and taken long, uh, you know, taken into the Shrine of Axes. And what do you guys want to do? You know, she's asked you if you wanted a, a bath, if you wanted, you know, uh, if you wanted a meal. Do you want to stay? All that other stuff. I whispered to Shem. Shem should be sure. Well, I don't. I don't see. Why not? I mean, the the, the large thing that, that we, the last thing the note said was that this town is under that it's under some duress from uh, bad fruel. So, uh, well, yeah, uh, could be. We do need to, we need to, we need to, I mean, at some point in time, we need to make sure that these villagers are aware of the threat that's out there. Uh, so, maybe it, maybe it's good to start with her or, or ask around for maybe a leader of the town that we can speak to or or you know, leader sure. of the guards that are out in the in the the village square or whatever it might be. I'll leave that I'll leave that to you to make that decision. Well if there's an attack coming, we should warn them as soon as possible so they can prepare for it. I would agree. So let's uh show it to her and then take it to the uh leaders as well. Right. I've distributed everyone's loot for tonight. You've got uh, another 50 gold apiece. You've everybody gets uh, 50 gold from the uh, from Shant from the from the uh, acolyte, well, which is uh, Chandra. And then, as you guys are speaking with Chandra, Azam comes back as well, and he pays you the 50 gold apiece that he owes you. And he looks over to you guys with a shrewd glance, and he says. My friends, you did very modestly out there. You were brave warriors. You know, and he gives you sort of like a, a lopsided smile. And he starts to tweak his mustache. And he says, you know what? I would actually travel with all of you again. So you've got a friend on the black road. I'm going to go ahead and stay here for a while until we have enough goods for another caravan to ride out. Then I'm going back into the desert. And you're more welcome to join me if you'd like to, or if you'd like to stay here, which I think Parnas could probably use your help a lot, a lot uh, more than I can, especially now that those goblins have been taken out and I can get past that toll booth. He says it will be. A, he says it, it is nice going to be out of the to be out of the sand for a little bit, but then he says, and he says real quietly, just watch yourselves around here. Just watch yourselves, because everything that we've seen and heard, I believe that you're going to have larger problems, much larger problems, really soon. I'll ask him, does he know much? Is he very familiar with this town? Uh, the only thing that, that he tells you is he does say that things do not seem what they represent themselves to be around here. And as and as he says that all of a sudden a a like a whisk of you know cool air comes into the town and kicks up a bunch of dust and whatnot. Uh, and everything fly by. No. Everything no. And all of a sudden everything starts to have a light rumble to it. And then uh Chandra says, "Oh, they're back." And as you, as she kind of looks up towards the sky, there is a 
cloud with a castle on it that you know that is rumbling and it starts to land in the crevice that you guys crossed and it and it lands flushly and there's like a sort of like a dock like a docking station there that you can see cuz it's just right out to the south and there are stairs that lead up to this uh, castle and you can actually see several giants sites that you've not seen before several giants walking around in this castle so well, that's must have thought across is no one i mean i'll kind of look around the town to see it seems to be an awful strange thing so i would assume these people are, are scared if they're not this is not no it, in which case chandra says no they they come back and it is uh it is a group of individuals that worship Tiamat and are trying to they use us as a strategic uh, place of loading supplies on from time to time that's these, where a lot of these supplies are going probably are these malicious individuals should we s stay away what I, I've never met a friendly giant yet not towards humans anyway so yeah this this cloud floating cloud with a castle and it docks at the station and you know the people they're still going about their normal business of course they were kind of covering their faces and whatnot because we know all what of the cloud the, giants the dust. are at all well, we met you've at heard storm. stories yeah yeah you, yeah you met one uh back several i would say probably several weeks back in the mountains so, yeah. yeah so that's where we're going to end and we'll pick this back up in two weeks. All right, thanks, man. Yeah. That's awesome. Pretty sexy. Well, you guys are in Parnas now. Azam so bids you time. farewell. We have time for a bath and meal and rest. Yeah, exactly. Yep. Chandra is going to give it to you. And, and carousing, tug. yeah. yeah. <laughs> Rubbing and tugging. All right, everybody. I'm so not sure I want to go carousing the same time... Uh, <laughs> Dorothy goes carousing. <laughs> Maybe you guys will carouse one another. Then. I don't know. Cross right? and sword. That's the, uh, that's, the, that's, the, that's the the threat. Exactly. Especially after about five or six pints, you know, she starts to, you know, uh, look pretty good with that beard on. I'm sure. <laughs> so, all right, there we go, guys. You guys Here's get to add. Uh, you've already got your experience. We're also going to see about the given the uh, factions armor back. Mm. Yeah, I guess it, it, we can do this you know, later or off stream or whatever. But just kind of talking, it, we'd want to see if the if, if the factions were in town. Uh, yeah, we'll find that out. Make, yeah, we'll yeah, find that sure out next that session. Yeah, some some loose ends to tie up, uh, having uh, finished that journey. Oh, that's good. And you guys will have a chance to explore Parnest for sure. So I'm all for much, that. How much experience do we get? Two hundred fifty. I've already I've already given it to you, so eleven thousand. Uh, awesome. Uh, oh, in fact, uh, I've given you your your experience. I have not given you the. Uh, I got to go to the XP tab. Here we go. You guys will get a total. The experience of, thing was the. It's over nine thousand. You guys will get two hundred and fifty experience apiece. Fuck right. yeah! Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Third level now. Me too. All right, and then I'm going to give you guys another little. Bonus XP as well. You guys can go ahead and add 50 more experience. I'm not going to make a parcel for it. You guys can add 50 more. You guys know where to add the experience, right? So I think Barry and that'll take you to level two, right? Because it's what 300 for level two, I think. Yep. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Right. At least. All right. So congratulations. You guys got 300. And uh, because of the, I added in an extra uh, bugbear as well because of the encounter. Well, because of the party size. So, all right, congratulations, guys. You guys will also get uh, another four days of downtime, and you will also get a renown point for your faction. So you'll get a renown point. You'll also get uh, four downtime days, the XP and loot's already been done. Now you'll need to put on your log sheet, Barian, that you got the bracers of archery because they, they are a magic item. So you'll need to put so, that down on your sh on your log sheet. 
Okay, so that goes under the adjustment part or just in the total? Uh, in your log sheet where it says magic item. Yeah, magic item on the right hand side. Okay. All right, and then I'll I'll adjust your. Did you uh, add the bonuses and stuff like that in for that bracer yet, Varian? I, I did not. Okay, I will do that for you then. So, all right, thanks for playing, guys, and we'll see you guys next. Yeah, you, how do I uh, how do I get spells for third, for second level then? You, you drag and drop them, or you yeah you go into the spell section when you go into your library. And you just can look at all over. the spells, and you can just drag and drop them onto your sheet, yeah. Okay, cool. Thanks, man. Uh, yeah, no what problem. Did the, you... Uh, uh, what was this session number? This is uh, DDAL05-02, uh, and this is Part 3, Welcome to Parnast, or the conclusion, Welcome to Parnast. It's... DD 0503, 0502. Yeah, it's the second one. Yeah. There you go. That's it. Perfect. Thank you. All right, guys. Thanks for playing. I'll see you guys next Thanks, week. David, for, uh, Thanks, David. Thanks for your time. Dragons. Yeah. Yeah, Me fun too. time. Thanks, awesome. Yep. Thanks, guys. And it leads into the next part of the story. So. Actually, how do, I the, how do you have the 50 experience points? And that's to anybody. I guess. Go to the main tab where it has your class at the top. Look to the right. Where the proficiency box is, there's a little magnifying glass. Just go in there yeah, 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 yeah. and okay. hit that and adjust it. Argus. Muchas gracias. In the next level box, is it? Mm -hmm. uh, you put 50 in the XP box. The next level box is how much you need for the next level. That's a box that you'll have to take care of. So. Thanks, David. Yep, thanks guys. I'll see you uh, next week. Peace. Thank you, thank you.